Okay, this is a recap of um, remoting via ILO to the uh, HP server and setting up the um, RAID controller or RAID drives that I set up in um, this particular machine. Uh, you had to use um, IE9 and the Java, uh, or I'm sorry, the net framework in order to do the remote. Once I did that, I was able to come in. Basically, I just remoted to the server and then um, went ahead and did a restart on it so I could come into the bio settings of the machine in the first place. So let's go ahead and restart that server. And once the server was resetting, I had to pick the F9 option to go into um, the system utilities uh, to start the process of setting up the drives. Pretty good pause for that to get set up, but once it finally got into the system utilities, uh, I was able to get to the RAID controller settings. Okay, then we go to system configuration up top. and then chose the embedded RAID 1 Smart Array Controller. Uh, right there is my next uh, choice to go into the RAID controller settings. And then we can go ahead and hit that we want to go uh, into the controller, hit the device information uh, option right there. I'm sorry, not the device information. You hit the exit and launch AP HP Smart Storage administrator next and then it takes a minute to load into the smart storage uh, administrator and I am pausing and fast forwarding through most of this because it is a really long slow boot okay once we finally get up here um, to the controller we just click on the smart array controller right there to get into the settings for the um, raid setup and once we click on that, you can see the actions are to configure. And we click on configure. And then we're just going to go to create an array because we're creating an array of the disks that uh, we've just put in. And just so you know, on this HP controller, you can only array the ones that are on the same controller. So I've got four SSDs next to each other that can be arrayed together. And then I've got four HDDs together that can array be rated together. So you have to pick which ones are going to be in the array. In this case, I picked the very first three uh, four terabyte drives to be the initial setup in the array. So after you pick the disks that you are selecting for this particular array, and in my case I picked three so that I can have one hot spare, uh, it will let you pick what kind of um, RAID array you want to do. It will only allow you to choose ones that you can do with what you previously select okay there we go so i picked those three and said create array and then it says hey what kind of do you want to do i picked raid five because i wanted both striping and um splitting those up i was actually surprised how big it was when i picked raid five so you just say create logical drive down at the bottom right hand corner to continue uh, and then it says, hey, we're going to optimize this and roll right to di disk. You sit, go ahead and let it do that. You say yes. And then, so it's got that set up. And now I'm going to click manage spare drives because I wanted a spare drive for this one. So this is going to be basically eight terabytes. What do you want to use for the spare? You select it, hit save. And you see the choices. I want this to be a dedicated spare that automatically gets used as a spare if one of the other drives fails. Basically give me an automatic backup for this information. I hit it save. And finish. You can see what it says there, what we're getting in the bays. And then I just close and say I want to reboot the system. So once we hit the X up in the top hand corner, I just kind of took a look at what I've got. And you can see that I've got a logical drive in Array 1 and another one in Array 2. Close it. Do you want to leave the application? Yes. And then you hit the little power button in the top right hand corner to start the reboot process. And now this array will show up on our VM as a 8 terabyte SSD. Or an 8 terabyte RAID array, which we know is an SSD array. 
And that is it for setting up the RAID array on the HP ProLiant server using the ILO interface.